Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching The Fly. What do you know about this? Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. That's about all I got too. Yeah. There's like an egg maybe on the movie poster. It's like green and it's glowy. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's all I got. <laughs> but it did tie on our next horror movie poll. So we want to thank all our patrons for voting for this to tie a poll. And a lot of the comments we got were just kind of talking about the movie's going to be pretty gross. A lot of people said don't eat before watching this movie. Yeah. So it's been a couple hours since we ate anything. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we're fine. Hopefully we waited long enough. Um, yeah, Jeff Goldblum. And I'm a huge fan of Jeff Goldblum. I probably saw him first in Jurassic Park, mm -hmm. but he's just been great my entire life practically yeah no i'm really excited for this yeah me too so if you would like to see the full-length reaction to this as well as everything else that we've reacted to the link to our patreon is in the description if you would like to interact with us on our instagrams twitch or twitter all those links will be in the description as well and with that let's get into the movie david cronenberg sounds familiar yeah oh gina davis oh nice people, right? What are we looking at here? I don't know. It does kind of look like people walking around, obviously with some heavy filters. Yeah. Yeah, it was people. I'm working on something that'll change the world and human <laughs> life as we know it. Classic, Jeff. <laughs> Somehow I get the feeling you don't get out much. You can tell that. <laughs> Pretty high stakes saying he's working on something to change the world. Yep, yeah, they're not working on something that'll change the world as we know it. They say they are. Yeah, but they're lying. I'm not. Straight to the point. I uh, puked on my tricycle. <laughs> so, seeing other people puke, <laughs> it's not going to be good for me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> This is an interesting place for a lab. Yeah, this does not look clean. It looks like she's about to get murdered. <laughs> Please. Locking them in? Yeah. So that's what that movie poster looked like. Are those like pods? Oh yeah, you thought it was like a little egg? Yeah. You've already seen them. Can't let you leave here alive. I haven't seen anything. Those. <laughs> like how he's playing his own soundtrack. I call them telepods. Oh, telepods. Uh, what do they do, the phone booths? Telepods. <laughs> Say, do you have something uh, on you that's uh, personal? What, are you kidding? No, I'm serious. <laughs> I don't wear jewelry. Mm-hmm. Nice. I thought he was going to smell it for a second. <laughs> uh, Brundle, Seth? Uh, Brundle, Seth? I feel like that's going to be important in the future. What? I think you whisper that. Yeah. Pretty intense. I'm glad I didn't give you my Rolex, if I had a Rolex. No, you're missing the point. Look. Teleportation? Telepod. She's not picking up on things very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a hologram? <laughs> oh, I like the noise when she puts her head in yeah. there. Yeah. I don't think I get it. What? <laughs> it goes from one pod to the other. They know they'll end up owning it all, whatever it is. You haven't told them? When I'm ready. <laughs> no one knows? You want me to get the quotes right, don't you? I thought this was personal. You can't write about this. What are you talking about? She, that's literally her job. <laughs> I'd never have told any of this stuff to a journalist. But you did tell this stuff. <laughs> Wait, come here. You What about your stock? Keep it for good luck. Oh, he didn't lock her in? <laughs> the fact that he doesn't even really understand a lot of it and just puts it together... That's kind of scary. 
Bartok Science Industries financed them? Mm -hmm. But they leave me alone because I'm not expensive. And how is he not expensive? Maybe if people knew what he was doing, it would be. What's well, an old nightclub routine? The two cabinets. And you fell for it. I was there. I saw it. Send him in. Uh-oh. Your magician has followed you here. <laughs> if you plan to make anything disappear, please let me know. I've got an assistant editor who's outlived his usefulness. Well, good thing no one believes him. <laughs> True. I've come here to say one magic word to you. Yeah? Cheeseburger. <laughs> so smooth. So awkward. <laughs> I can only teleport inanimate objects. Did he kill something? When you try to teleport living things. Not while we're eating. <laughs> oh no. Is it like a Galaxy Quest where it like turned it inside out? Transporting myself 15 feet through space from one telepod to another. That's what's really missing. He's going to be the test subject. Wait for me that long. It's a pretty good pitch. Yeah. I'm nervous, though. What does it do? He's clearly tried it before. Yeah. Probably a couple of times. What are you doing in my apartment? What the hell? Be in the neighborhood. Felt a bit scummy. Rough day. Is that her boss? He was the leader of the F-32 team. Remember that? An inch away from the Nobel Prize for Physics. Ooh, wow. He was only 20 at the time. Um, Whoa. He really downplays himself. I have to put this issue to bed. You want me to come back later and tuck you in? No. You're a petty schmuck. He sucks. Yeah. Wonder what he's trying. Yeah. Something alive. Oh. Oh, I thought it was a dog. It's a monkey. But it's still a monkey. Oh, the fact that there's like fog and you can't really see. Oh. Oh, that sounds so Oh my god. It was just like Galaxy Quest. Just turned it inside out practically. It was still alive. Computers are dumb. They only know what you tell them. I must not know enough about the flesh myself. I'm gonna have to learn. Huh? Wow. I don't want to talk now. That's really interesting. Computers are dumb. They only know what you tell them. Do you ever change your clothes? <laughs> no, these are clean. Um, I change my clothes every day. Is it all the same? <laughs> it's gotta be. Five sets of exactly the same clothes? spend any thought on what I'm gonna wear, I just grab the next set on the rack. Nice. I only have five, though. Yeah, you need seven. Maybe he's naked on the weekends. <laughs> You're very cute. You know that. Nice. Man, she offered to cook you steaks and now she's coming on to you? <laughs> That's why old ladies pinch babies' cheeks. It's the flesh. It just makes you crazy. Did you just get an epiphany? That's what I was thinking. Send the steak through? I guess. I think he should have started with like a plant before he went monkey. <laughs> That's true. It tastes like a steak. Oh. oh. So he cooked it after he pushed it through. Yeah. Teleported half. Oh, are you serious? A monkey just came apart in there. Baboon. Yeah, did he, like, clean that well? Hopefully. The computer is giving us its interpretation of a steak. It's rather than reproducing it. The dumb computer. <laughs> <laughs> I like this duo. Yeah, they're great. Uh-oh. Seems to be a little obsessed with her. Yeah. She buying him new clothes gonna throw off his whole routine oh, he's just standing right there don't you get it i am finally onto something that's big huge yeah what his cock <laughs> what the you've got to talk to me i don't have to do anything we're finished remember i'll spend the night anywhere i damn well please she's louise oh seems too soon good luck baboon we didn't try the steak again 
Where's he getting all these baboons from anyways? Oh! Okay! That was fast! Oh, yeah, from your editor. I'm sorry, somebody slipped it under the door. Oh, yeah, yeah I'll wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um. Publishing a story about him? I still have the residue of another life, you know. I have to scrape it off my shoe and get rid of it once and for all. This guy's fucking everything up already. I know. Residue means your old boyfriend, doesn't it? Staff is born, is your old boyfriend. He's working for old... <laughs> I didn't mean to kill your brother. <laughs> Vane. I'm glad he apologized. Oh. any comfort and... There's a fly. Oh, look at that. I can tell you're okay. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. No. He's going in? Yeah, so we have a drunk Seth and a fly in the room. Great. This is gonna be so fucked up. Aww. His head looks fine. Yeah. He's gonna have to be able to see, like, the report on the computer, though. Because he just got teleported with the fly. Am I different somehow? It's too bad Ronnie missed it. This baboon's a great actor. <laughs> he couldn't have gone that smooth, though. There's gotta be something wrong. No, yeah, that had to have messed up. Oh, what about our deal? You went through and I wasn't there. Don't worry, I taped it for you. Hmm. Okay, so he's got some fly DNA in him. Oh! Like a superhero all of a sudden. Right? Can you look at this tape or the computer? I can't believe we didn't see it in there because it was flying around. It didn't just land. Yeah. It looks pretty rough. Yeah. So he is a superhero. Pretty impressive. Just like, what does this have to do with being a fly? I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> it's pretty suspicious. <laughs> so, so far, nothing really negative about teleporting with the fly. Yeah. I wonder what he keeps whispering. The personal potential I've been neglecting all these years, obsessively pursuing goal after goal. It's a lot of sugar. Uh, nevertheless, also certainly true. I will say now, however. Okay, he's going off the rails. Catch me if you can. Waiter, Jesus Christ. Is it his, like, fly attention span? <laughs> right, yeah, it's just like buzzing around a million miles per hour. I've been doing this for hours. Uh, I'm ready to quit. <sighs> his face isn't looking great. Yeah. Oh, is this going to be painful? Tough. I want you to go through. I want to teleport you as soon as possible. Right now. We'll be the perfect couple. The dynamic duo. Come on, right now. <laughs> Don't give me that born-again teleportation rap. <laughs> You're a fucking drag, you know that? Oh, he's really changing. You can't penetrate beyond society's sick, gray fear of the flesh. Man, it like, it's fucking up his mind first. I'm talking about penetration beyond the veil of the flesh. He's like losing it very quickly. Yeah, that was psychotic. A candy bar? Just eating so much sugar? Yeah. <laughs> Another candy bar? I got a hundred bucks says I can beat either one. It's pretty strong. And I get to take the lady home for the night if I win. Says who? Come on, pal. Let's get it over with. Hey, watch out. He eats chocolate bars. Yeah, so I noticed. <laughs> I don't know how easy this is going to be. Oh, is he going to, like, crush his hand? <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> and he just took her? <laughs> what the fuck? 
It's a little too early to quit. Sure, a few more bars. He looks so bad. Yeah. That lady just watched him rip a dude's hand off. <laughs> but sure, I'll come home with you. <laughs> I wonder if she's still gonna be there. Probably. I wonder how exhausted he was doing this. Right? How many takes did it take? So what I'm gathering is flies are super horny. He did it again? Wow. Did that help things or hurt things? Oof. Oh, she's gonna touch that and freak out. I'm afraid! Don't be afraid! No. Thanks for a wonderful time. Thank goodness she showed up when she did, though. Yeah, I just wanted to just chuck her in there. You've got to get some help. I think you must be sick. You You're have... jealous! You'll do anything to bring me down. Look at me, does this look sick? Does this look like a sick man? Man, I thought he would... Oh. I don't need you anymore. No, wait! Seth, please! Wait. I thought he would get really fucked up by this fly in the telepod, but I didn't think he would just turn into an absolute asshole. Yeah. I thought he would be, like, struggling to try to, like, figure out how to fix himself. Right. Yeah, this isn't what I was expecting either when he came out. Oh. What? He's getting hairs on his face. Oh, is he? No. What? Oh, I hate anything to do with fingers. Uh. This just went so extreme so fast, and there's no way this doesn't get worse. No. What's happening to me? Am I dying? Is this how it starts? Am I dying? That was so gross. He like yeah. popped his finger. It took him a long time before he started to try to look into this. I yeah. feel like it's too late at this point. <laughs> Not Brundle. Run sequence. Oh. oh, there's the fly. Man, his only hope is to teleport and have it split up everything, if it's even possible. Intense. They are one. Ooh, at a molecular genetic level. You're fucked. He's like, it, it didn't really change much, and now it's changing like exponentially faster, I feel like. Yeah. Which I also feel like is kind of a bummer, because it did work. It works perfectly as long as it's only one thing in there. Seth, I've been trying to reach you. Where are you? For the last four weeks, I've been afraid to see you. Four weeks? Veronica, you don't know how right you were. I've gotten much, much worse. I don't no. want to see him. What's the opposite of a fly? Can you teleport with that and reverse everything? I'm already freaked out about what we're going to see. I'm diseased and uh, might be contagious somehow. Okay, really bad, but not as bad as I thought. Every time I look in the mirror, it's someone different, someone hideous, repulsive. What happened? I know. Oh, that's pretty bad. Decided to splice us together. It made it us, me and the fly. We hadn't even been properly introduced. <laughs> he still has a sense of humor. Well, then what do you want me to do? Why did you call me? It's just wanted to see you before you die. <laughs> What? That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> God. No. What? His ear just fell off. Ear? No. I'm scared. Oh, you can hug that? Please. Oh. I, I, I'll just kill him at this point. <laughs> If you saw him, Staff, the scared and angry and desperate. I mean, I don't think it's contagious. No, it's just really gross. Do I have permission to claim your body when this is all over? <laughs> oh, God. This guy's even creepier than the fly guy. Show me. Let me think about it. I'll come up with something. 
He would just, like, sell him as a piece of entertainment. Yeah. I don't trust that guy for a minute. No, she needs to go to a scientist. Not a journalist. Seth? Oh, man, is he going to be, like, flying around at some point? Oh, up here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Got pretty good at it, haven't I? He's just the worst looking superhero. I'm becoming Brundlefly. Brundlefly. Here. His teeth. Yeah, it doesn't even look remotely like Jeff Goldblum. I think you'll want to uh, record for posterity. Please don't barf again. You got me there? <laughs> his spirits are way up, and so is his. How does Brundle fly? Activity level. Eat? Well, he found out the hard and painful way that he's very much the way a fly eats. Oh no, puke on it? Because although he can chew up solid food, he can't digest. Man, you really call this puking thing. With a corrosive enzyme, playfully called vomit drop. <laughs> it liquefies, sucks it back up. Ready for demonstration, kids? No. No, please. <laughs> Ew, just the sound itself was enough. I almost puked. I'm pregnant. Ooh. Oh no. When? Yeah, is she pregnant with a brundle, brundle fly? fly? That's just gonna like tear through her. Hopefully it's a brundle. I don't think any timeline works. I think it has to be a brundle fly. The excess excessive sex after yeah. becoming brundle fly. Oh, they gonna do like an ultrasound or something? Hold it. Hold on a minute. There's more in there. There's more? Oh no. Don't flies have like... Oh, like a bunch of babies? You can push it up. You can push it up. Come on. Push it up? What the fuck are we watching? <laughs> oh, oh my god. That was the worst. So maybe flies don't have multiple, but they have... Larva. Yeah. So is she still pregnant, or was all of that a dream? I'm hoping all of that, because he was uncharacteristically nice from the very beginning. Yeah, maybe she's just not pregnant. She's never pregnant? I'm hoping she was never pregnant. Oh, no. He needs gloves again. What gloves is he going <laughs> to wear? Oh. Pure human subjects, one or more. I want a disc. Give me preliminary integration. Oh no, doesn't recognize his voice. This is oh no. This is horrific. One of his eyes bigger. <sighs> oh my god. Keeping his body parts? Was any one of those his penis? That I don't know. You've missed some good moments. Just when he does this, like... Yeah. I'm saying I'm an insect who dreamt he was a man and loved it. But now the dream is over. Ooh. No, sit. I'll hurt you if you stay. <laughs> it's the most disturbing breakup scene I've ever seen. I don't want it in my body. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Is he gonna feel compelled to save his insect babies? Well, okay. What's the story? You're not gonna believe it. Tess can't guarantee anything. The baby could start off normal and then become... I want an abortion. This is a heavy movie. Yeah. Oh no. So now it's up to the asshole editor to save her? I have the baby. <laughs> I can't. Too bad. You say too bad? I don't know too bad as in like he's letting her decide or too bad as that in now. like a threat. Yeah, like now I have to keep you locked up until this baby's born. This is a million percent. Not the direction I thought this movie was going. No. 
Also, he's literally almost superhuman. This guy's gonna need something. Oh, is this a gun? <laughs> that might be helpful. I mean, he's not messing around. I mean, he did just kidnap her out of the hospital. I'm glad he showed up with a yeah. gun. <laughs> Interesting, using all three telepods. <laughs> Holy shit! Do it. Oh my god. No! You have to be kidding me. Holy shit. Are you... He's just tearing this guy apart with vomit. That might be one of the grossest deaths or almost deaths I've ever seen. You, me, and the baby. Together. We. No, what? How is this supposed to work? He's trying to make all three of them into one? A family of three joined together in one body? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, he's like fully transforming. Oh my gosh. His eyeballs just oozed out of him. Please, dude. Come on, man. You can get this shot off. Ew. <laughs> With one leg and one arm. Blow him away. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, good thinking. Uh oh. He's in trouble. Oh my god, this guy came in so close. Yeah, how did he end up the hero here? <laughs> right? Fusion of him and the telepod? No, like what even is this gonna be? <laughs> no, it's literally just him and a bunch of metal. This is also super sad because he was a very smart, nice guy. And now he's this. Just put him out of his misery. This is so much worse than I thought. What? <laughs> Are you serious? All right, that was The Fly. What'd you think? That was just not at all. I Yeah, I don't know if I've ever been more shocked about what we just watched. All of it. That was super dark. <laughs> that may be one of the darkest movies we've seen. I mean, The Mist has one of the darkest like endings, but this whole movie was just like tragic. Yeah. And gross. Very gross. And really heavy. I mean, like the last like 30 minutes of this movie is essentially about her wanting to get an abortion. Yeah. And then having to murder <laughs> the baby daddy fly Brundle. Brundle <laughs> Brundle fly. And the asshole from the beginning ends up being the hero, yet loses two limbs. And one of the most graphic amputations, I guess, of like vomit. I I'm I'm very <laughs> speechless with this movie. Let's just try to run through it the best that we can, because this was insane. Yeah. Okay. Everybody was fantastic. Yeah. I don't know if we've ever seen John Getz anywhere, but super good. 
Um, obviously, Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis, always fantastic. Yeah, they knocked it out of the park. Yeah, so, I mean, the three of them were incredible. John Getz, I mean, had such a character arc. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it was kind of forced. It, it came out of nowhere. He was... Yeah. He had this weird balance of being an asshole and super creepy, but I guess you could tell that he really cared about her. Yeah. You don't know why their relationship ended necessarily. Yeah, no, it was definitely a weird dynamic because they were still working together. So clearly, seemed, yeah. It seemed fine until he started to get jealous. Yeah. So that was really interesting. And then, you know, when it came to Veronica finding out that she was pregnant, I think that's when it kind of took a turn. Yeah, that's when he immediately, I mean, to the point where we thought it was all a dream sequence. That's how drastic his change was. Yeah. But I guess he really was very supportive of everything she wanted and needed. Yeah, and then at the end, he's not, you want to say he's like the hero because he does save her, but also like then you're considering Seth as like the villain, which I mean, I guess he was, he was doing something very bad in trying to get Veronica in and merging all of them together. Into one creature. Yeah, he clearly completely lost it at that point, but also like it's like it he he was a villain but not by choice. Yeah, he became a villain because his brain was probably just turning to like mush. Yeah, it was uh, he talked about how uh like the fly politics thing. Yeah. And that insects or insect politics and insects are like brutal and they don't compromise. Yeah. So, I think that was foreshadowing for, you know, I mean he literally talked about like if you don't get away from me, I'm going to hurt you. Right. So, like it, I don't think that was Seth. It was the fly, which yeah. that's not what I was expecting at all. When we kind of start to realize that they're one. Yeah. At least I thought that the majority of the movie from that point on would be him desperately trying to figure out how to fix himself. Right. While he transforms into a fly. But the large portion of that was his mind going first. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, his mind was definitely the first thing. He obviously had some crazy abilities right in the beginning. But, you know, he had like three, I don't hairs. know, hairs. I don't know what they are called on insects. Uh, like coming out of his back. But that was a much slower initial progression than him kind of losing it. He totally became such a dick. Yeah. And then I feel like he realized and all of a sudden he wasn't really anymore. Yeah, he definitely went from being an asshole very quickly to like understanding the situation. Yeah. It seemed like he tried maybe to fix it a little bit. And then, you know, he his body was deteriorating and then it kind of switched where, you know, he had his humor back. He was athletic again and yeah. walking around the walls like. <laughs> athletic. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, so once he kind of got to that spot, I was starting to think, okay, maybe now he's gonna try to fix things. But it seemed like he almost just kind of accepted the fact that he was going to become something special and unique. Yeah. He talked about being a 185 pound fly. Yeah. And it just, from that point on, it just got worse. And his transformation just got exponentially faster. Yeah. Literally to the point where the final scene, she like rips off his jaw and he just like molts like his entire human skin off, yeah. off in that moment. And, and we see the final fly form and just disgusting like some of the grossest the vomiting yeah. was the grossest thing for me no i definitely when he the sounds that the that made as they were watching him eat i think that might have been the first time that i was going to intentionally close my eyes during a reaction because i was like i don't think that i could walk. like i might throw up yeah the food was like here <laughs> for me <laughs> Like, it almost got to the point where I had to swallow it back down. <laughs> yeah, no, my stomach, like, it was churning. Like, it was not good. No, that was horrific. It was super sad to see his mind just devolve, especially when that was the greatest thing about him. Like, he's yeah, he brilliant, was brilliant, super brilliant, extremely charismatic, you know, got Veronica to fall in love with him, like, immediately. Yeah. And their relationship was very great like it was heartwarming 
and they seemed perfect together and that just makes it all the more sad because none of this you know it's not like he got power hungry or like someone pissed him off and he you know was like i'm gonna show them or something like it was literally just a fly accidentally got into the telepod and that was it that, yeah because it. it was working and then he just like got sad and drunk and it was he was sloppy yeah he was sloppy with his work yeah didn't make sure that it was just him in there and it cost him everything yeah so it was sad it was gross it was unexpected to kind of see more than just his body transform mm -hmm. and it was his mind unexpected to see john gets uh stathis i think that's how you pronounce his name i guess become the hero but kind of like you yeah. said it's not like he killed a villain even though it was a villain i mean he he just stopped her becoming He's, he saved her for sure a fly what, whatever the hell they would have become it would have been just like a big blob yeah no i mean this was that was just really sad yeah it was super sad super dark the ending was just like it, it was just over like yeah. what what type of resolution do we have like is her baby a brundle fly? I mean, I don't think we we would have even, even if the movie continued, I don't think we would have found out. Like she would have still gotten the abortion. Yeah, but just what a, what an ending. Like yeah. it literally ends with her blowing his head up. Yeah. And the one guy's just sitting there with two limbs. Yeah. And she's just crying. It reminds me of an American werewolf in London where it's like the main character's dead and the love interest is just standing over his dead body crying. And it's like, credits and it, this was the same thing it's yeah. like oh yeah this guy's mutilated the main character's in a, a giant blob of metal and fly and man and uh your main character is crying and potentially has a baby inside of her that's gonna be some horrific thing that might just like rip out of her stomach like alien yeah that's your ending of the movie oh the giant larva the lar yeah like that nightmare scene yeah it, it's hard. It's hard to talk about this movie. Yeah. No, and you know, if I'm being honest, when he first came out of the telepod, and we realized, obviously, that he was in there with a the fly, I, my mind went to just so many gross things. Like, I was just imagining him having, like, a fly head on his human body. Like, I was just imagining so many things. And when he came out, and I was like, Oh, he's fine. Oh, he's fine. I wish that it looked like what I was imagining. Right. Like <laughs> it just it, got so much worse. Like, like it would be weird, but I, I know exactly what you're talking about where it's like, oh, maybe he'll have like wings and a fly head yeah. and a human body. Yeah. No, what they did was the stuff of nightmares yeah. in that slow transition. Like, I mean, it literally just started like with the little hairs and then it kind of looked like he had some acne mm -hmm. and it just got worse and yeah. worse and worse. Yeah, I, I don't know who the hell- <laughs> Dreamed this up. Dreamed this up and made this a reality, but that's terrifying. Yeah, it was so gross, it was so gross. Yeah, and all of this, I guess just reinforces how great of a movie it was. Yeah because we really enjoyed all of the characters. Yeah. It really got you invested in their like relationship and to the point where it was sad. Like you, it was a sad moment when you kind of looked at him at the end and he kind of like put the gun to his head and you can kind of tell like he was moaning and it was like, if you had to translate it, it would be like, please. Yeah. Like, please kill me. Yeah. And like the eyes look sad, like you felt bad. Yeah, I mean, if I wasn't so grossed out, I probably would have cried because it was extremely sad. Yeah. Like they were perfect. Like Seth and Veronica were perfect for each other. Yeah. And they have this whole life ahead of them with Seth, like he did it. He did what he wanted to do. I mean, the technology he created was literally capable of changing how the world works. Yeah, so it was just devastating, but I just was so grossed <laughs> out that like I couldn't get past that. No, but just like, Kudos to the director and the practical effects and the makeup artists, the, the designers, whoever is responsible for creating this movie deserves a lot of credit yeah. because this was some of the worst stuff I've seen on screen. Yeah. Um, and especially for me, like Jeff Goldblum's acting and transitioning from 
this very charismatic, like kind of socially awkward scientist to playing an asshole and then playing a sympathetic fly human and then a, like terrifying. Like he played a lot of different roles in yeah. this movie and did it perfectly all the way down to like his little like twitches. Yeah. Like that's what it was like. Oh, please, like, please stop. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it was a really fantastic film. I'm just like gonna be scarred for life from the puking and the the puking. Yeah. I totally forgot that that's like how flies work. Yeah. Like when he first puked up on the food. Yeah. I thought that was an accident. No. As soon as he puked on the food, I was like, oh no. Yeah. I didn't put that together until way later. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then we have that scene where he just dismantles that man. Yeah. I would say I enjoyed the ride because it was a great movie, but. I am, uh, I'm gonna be thinking about this for way longer than I wish I would. Yeah, I mean, you know, spooky season, we're watching a lot of scary things, but I feel like this was just so disturbing that this might be, this might be the one that causes me like real nightmares. This is gonna be the one too, because every single time I see a fly in a real life, first of all, the first image I'm gonna get is him puking on that guy. So it's just gonna yeah. be, it's gonna be rough. Like, I don't know how many years it's going to take for me to see a fly and not immediately have a flashback to this movie. No, and just, I don't land on, like, don't land on Don't me. land, like, like, yeah, oh my, it just- Are you just puking on me when you land on, like, what is happening? I Yeah, I hate flies already, but now when something lands on me, it's gonna be 10 times worse. Yeah, like, can you ever eat your food again if a fly landed on it? No. D did it just pu did it just puke on your food? I think I would. I think I would, I'm gonna immediately lose my appetite. <laughs> like this, this movie is gonna cause permanent damage. <laughs> for, so, so I mean, uh, it's it's gonna stick with me forever. So thanks to our patrons. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everyone for suggesting this. You scarred us for life. <laughs> but um, no, I mean this was this was fantastic, and yeah, I really enjoyed the three main characters. Yeah. And and how much they kind of did within an hour and a half movie. Yeah, no, this this blew me away. Not what I expected. Not even I, throughout the film, it still wasn't where I thought it was going. No, nope, um, not what I expected, not what I wanted, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's what we got. Yeah. So if you would like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links will be in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.